El Paso City Council votes against a resolution today to prioritize abortion investigations. This comes three weeks since the overturning of Roe versus Wade, which was in place for almost 50 years. Today's item, co-sponsored by Representatives Alexandra Anello and Henry Rivera, looked to create a policy or ordinance protecting the rights of pregnant people. ABC 7's Brianna Perez was at the meeting all day and joins us now live with more. Brianna. Stephanie, the council members, the council chambers was filled with people for and against the item. And after nearly five hours of public comment, the council voted five to four against the proposal. With Mayor Oscar Leeser issuing the tie-breaking vote, protesters then took to the streets in anger. Leeser, recall Leeser, recall Leeser. Re he believed in the democratic values and platform of the Democratic Party, and that's one of the values that we stand by, and that's women's reproductive rights, all rights for women. He went against that today, and we won't forget. The, the item would have directed the city manager and city attorney to create an ordinance or policy to protect the rights of pregnant individuals. This means not using taxpayer dollars for programs to criminalize women who seek abortion, as well as not using city funds to investigate reports of abortion. Lastly, making investigating abortion the lowest priority for El Paso police. City manager Tommy Gonzalez said that there is a lot of legal discussion right now and that state and federal law trumps anything they do locally. During the meeting, El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen was later criticized by a person for the resolution after he said he is not for investigating abortions at the lowest level right now. The public making comments saying he should not vet police women based on his personal views. El Paso County D District Attorney Ivan Rosales was later criticized for leaving before speaking during public comment and not stating on her plans whether her office will prosecute for abortion-related crimes. Still, Oscar Leeser says he made this choice because he has to abide by federal law. And the reason I voted no was uh, exactly what Mr. Gonzalez said, that, uh, you know, the city and, and federal laws we have to abide, uh, state and federal laws we do have to abide by. And when it came to the vote, that is the vote that I voted. Representatives Joe Molinar, Isabel Salcedo, Claudia Rodriguez, and Cecilia Lizarga voted against the item. Stephanie. All right. Thank you, Brianna.